Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today, we're going to be talking about air cooling, gaming PC fans, airflow, all of that stuff. Uh, making sure your temp temperatures are good, making sure your airflow is right, your cabling looks good to make sure uh, while you're gaming, uh, those temps stay good and your performance stays up. So as usual, no BS, no fluff. Here we go. first topic of the day we need to really talk about cabling no messy PCs here uh, you want to make sure that the airflow is able to get to where it needs to get and it's not fighting through all these cables here uh, this is a really bad example of uh, improper cable management uh, and this is a great example of proper cable management so uh, he's rocking a water cooler he's got dual graphics cards he's got a fan here he's probably got some up on the top but he's utilizing the uh, case management system as you can see like these rubber grommets to make sure the cabling goes uh, in directions it needs to go stay nice and neat uh, He's also using uh, zip ties. Zip ties are great. Uh, use zip ties. Use the built-in cable management systems for your case. Get those cables looking nice and neat and tidy. It also depends which way you flip the fans that your cables uh, also can sit or these water uh, lines can sit, these coolant lines. So that's really, really important. Uh, next thing you need to understand is whether you're going air cooling or you're going water cooling, uh, how the fans come pre-installed. So the pre-installed fans, no matter what you get, uh, I've got an example here and we'll switch views so I can show you. Uh, the fans come installed, for instance, like on the water cooler where the air is flowing this way. The, whenever you see the company logo, they're pulling air in and they're blowing it to the opposite direction. So what I always do with my water coolers, and depends how you have it set up, if you have it set up vertically in your case, if you have it set up on the side. When I have it set up on the side, I did what that guy did and I flipped my fans around so they're actually pulling air into the case across the radiator. So that's what I do with my water coolers. And uh, same thing with these. These are actually pulling air in this direction. So if you need to flip that around, you can. Uh, but uh, stock for me, that works fine. Then I'll show you, I'll get into why, why that matters. So cabling, knowing which direction your fans are actually blowing the air. Now this is a great example of how I like to set up my cases. Uh, I like to pull cold air in from the front. So you can see here on this example here, he's got the radiator in the front and he's actually pulling air in from the front across the radiator. And then all that cool air is actually, you're creating a suction across the case. You will get into some positive and negative air pressures as well as equal air pressure. Uh, but this is kind of the basics of understanding, uh, getting the cabling out of the way, understanding which direction the fans are spinning and which way you're pulling in the air. Um, also the size of your fans, if you got a 140, 120, 240, 210, understand the CFM and how much air you're pulling in, the size of the fans. Uh, if you have two bigger fans in the front than in the rears, uh, you probably want to pull in cold air with the two bigger ones in the front, for instance, as an example. But this is a great uh, design and, and, and diagram of how I actually like to run my cases. You're pulling cold air up from the bottom in the power supply, hot air out the back. You're pulling cold air from the front and the bottom, and then it's all blowing out the, out the back and the up. And he, naturally, heat rises. So as it heats up in the case and the fans are helping blow the air out, you're blowing the hot air up and out. Also, another thing I, I like to mention is that you're, you're blowing the dust off of your case. I don't get very much dust on the top and sides of my case. I actually, the hot air and the air blowing it up constantly while it's running actually keeps the dust off of my case. Um, this is a bad example of airflow design. Uh, he's, he's pulling in air in all kinds of different directions, um, and it could be worse than this. This is a design that that could technically work, but I really don't agree with it too much. Um, so they're pulling in cold air from the front and the back, trying to blow it out the top with two small fans, which could work. Um, and then they're utilizing the air that's coming in here to blow out the back for the power supply. Looks like they've rotated the power supply uh, with an extra fan here. This is kind of a Frankenstein system. It gets complicated when you're doing something like this. I like to keep it nice and simple. In from the front and bottom, out from the back and the top. Hot air out the back and top. If you can get your airflow all coming from the front of your case and the and the bottom of your case up the out and the back is the definitely a way I recommend. Uh, obviously there's different methods of doing it. Uh, this is another example of what I'm talking about. We're pulling cold air in from the bottom. Cold air is heavy normally and sits at the bottom anyways. It's heavier so it doesn't uh, levitate as much, doesn't gravitate as much uh, upwards. It, it gravitates lower. So and uh, and you're pulling in the, the the cold air from the front and the low end into the case and up and out through the back as heat naturally rises. Um, another example, uh, different setup, water cooled system, but again, pulling that cold air in from the front and bottom and letting all that hot air rise out the top. Uh, now this makes a huge drastic difference uh, in gaming and temperatures. Uh, just the pure fact of rotating these two fans across the radiator will determine uh, 
like 10 degrees Celsius, not even kidding. Uh, if your airflow is not right, you could have major cooling issues. Um, here's a couple more diagrams I'm gonna share. They're pulling cold air in from the top and the back and the front. That is a positive airflow. You're creating too much air pressure within the system, uh, which uh, is not gonna work very well. And you're pulling in dust. So don't set up all your fans to pull in like this. Uh, another example here is where you're pulling everything in from the back and the top. You're pulling in a bunch of dust and then blowing it all out the front. I've seen cases fill up with tons of dust uh, utilizing this method. Uh, and then you have this method as well, which is, is not accurate, where you're just pulling all the air out. You're not getting any cold air into the system at all, and all the fans are just spinning outwards. You don't want to have that uh, either. That's not good at all. Uh, let me see if there's some other examples I can show you here. So positive air pressure means more fans are drying air into the case than, than blowing out. And I think that's what we were looking at right here. Uh, you, have, you have negative where it's blowing out, too much or positive work blowing in too much and you're not creating a equalized uh, ambient kind of air pressure for the system. So here's another good example of what I'm talking about. You can get uh, equalized type pressure within the room, pull in that cold air and blow it out the top and keep the dust off your system if you're pulling it in from the front and bottom and blowing it out the back and the top. And dust is the silent killer. You don't want dust all over your systems and your connections. It eats up stuff. Um, and if it sits on there for long periods of time, it actually can, it, it, it's kind of like corrosive. It actually can eat up your system. Uh, so water cooling, same thing. We already covered that. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Hopefully this helps you guys out. I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, airflow and pressures. If you're building a gaming PC, join the Discord. Comment down below. I'd love to comment back and answer your guys' questions. If you have any comments, please leave them. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Draco Ray to help the gaming community out, and I'll see you next time.